back to my channel. My name is Charmaine and thank you so much for stopping by. If this is your first time here, thanks so much for visiting. If this is not your first time, thanks for coming back. Today, we are going to be doing that sweatshirt that you saw in my thumbnail. I went to Walmart today looking for some sweatshirts and I didn't find none, but I ended up finding this vinyl. I ended up finding this Strong Bond Cricut Holographic Sparkle Iron On Mosaic. It's got to be, it's heat transfer because you got to add heat to it. Okay. So, but it's, they call it Iron On. Um, it, it looks like rhinestones. I've seen this a lot on um, YouTube and I was intimidated to do, use it because I was scared. <laughs> but um, I never did the rhinestone file before. I never used it before. So this is a different version for the regular rhinestone shirts you see. Okay, so I'm going to try this out today. Wish me luck. Come scared. <laughs> but like I said, I always, this, I keep it real on this, on this channel. I always bring it to you live. And um, if I make a mistake, you'll see my mistake and you can fix it. You can fix what I did wrong when you do yours, okay? So hopefully it won't be a mess today. Okay, so that's how it looks in the package. And this is how it looks out of the package, okay? So I'm gonna show you, the, uh, I'm gonna give you a better look after I put my phone on my tripod, on my tripod, and I put it on the um, mat, okay? Okay, so let me go ahead and show you these images. Both of these images I got from Etsy, the Black Lives Matter and the um, Black Queen. I would not be doing both of these on the video today. I'll be doing one on the video. I will be doing the Black Queen on the video. And then I can show you the results of how this look after I get this done. Because I know it's a lot when weeding these um, with this, this type of vinyl. It's a lot of weeding. And I just don't want this video to be that long. Okay, this Black Queen, I basically sized it to be 10.7 by 9. Okay? And this um, Black Lives Matter, it's about 9.5 by 10.5. Okay? So let me go ahead and push make it up here at the top. Right, I am using Cricut Design Space and I have my Cricut Maker. So what I'm going to do is just basically go down to number two. I'm gonna be doing Black Queen. I always basically move this down some so it won't be cutting off because before I have done this before and it have cut off my image, okay? So I wanna make sure it's right in the middle. Over here, I'll just go ahead and push mirror because you are using heat. You always go to mirror when you're pushing heat, using heat. You go ahead and push continue. And I'm going to be looking for the, the mosaic iron on. So let's click on all categories and go to iron on. And let's find the mosaic. And it is the glitter. Oh, let me see. It is the um, sparkle, holographic sparkle mosaic. Here it is. Holographic Sparkle Iron On Mosaic. I click on that. Then I push done. And it right here tells you right here, Holographic Sparkle Iron On, iron on Mosaic. <laughs> Make sure your mirror is turned on and that you're um turning it face down on the shiny side. So I'm gonna show you that in a minute. Okay, now this is my, I have a new mat. So I'm gonna take this off. And you see this letter B on here. I put the B on here so if I know if the B is backwards or uh, this the wrong way, I know that my paper, my uh, plastic protector is on the wrong way. And I always wanna keep it on the right side because if you turn this, flip this on the table and you can get stuff on your mat. So I just make sure I put it on, keep it on the right side when I put it back on my green mat. Put it to the side. And this is how it looks. And this is a, it's gonna have like a little white sheet. Um, you could use this to press if you want to, but I have, I always use the, um, my paper that I got from Sam's. So I just put it to the side. Okay. I feel like it's wax paper. Um, these, this does have two different, um, shiny sides to it. Two different films on it. Get some tape on here to take this off real quick. Okay. I'm going to just go ahead and place this on my mat like so. Okay, and that's how you do. You just put that on there, and then you basically turn it, make sure the shiny side is down. And I'm gonna go ahead and put it in my printer. And I mean, I'm gonna go ahead and put it in my Cricut Maker, and I'll be back after I finish cutting. Okay, I'm done cutting it with my Cricut. It looks like it's very, very hard to see, y'all. So we're gonna see how 
this is going to do for me today. I'm going to cut this off. Um, let's see how far up I need to go to cut it. It's very hard to see, y'all. Very, very hard. Oh, yes, it's very hard. Okay, so let me see. I know. I don't want to waste any of this stuff because it's not cheap. It's like $11 at my, um, 11 something at Walmart. So I'm going to cut as close as I can so I can have some more to, so I can have the rest to save. If you like the content of this video, please like it and share it with your other crafters. Hit that red bell so you can be notified when I make new videos. I'm on a roll, y'all. Today, this week, well, the last couple days, I know this is my third video. Yay! <laughs> I'm happy about it. Get them out. Get them out. Check out my other videos. I just did a video on a, a, a metal. I mean, on a slate. I also did a video on a keychain sublimation. The slate was also sublimation. I'm just gonna go ahead and pull this back. I'm gonna go ahead and try it this way, y'all. In the mat back. This is so pretty so far. Hope it turns out right. I'm gonna cover my mat back up. So I'm gonna get all nasty. I got so many mats I need to clean. Maybe I'll do a video on how to clean the mats. Even though I never clean my mats before, I always buy me new ones. So I like I have like 20 mats. <laughs> so I'm just lazy. I'm gonna try to clean. I might try to do a video on how to clean it. Okay, so now we have to find I don't know where my cricket tool is, so I'm just gonna use this. Is that the knife and just peel back? Start from the top right here. Yeah, I'm wearing my daycare sweatshirt. If you can see my little hoodie. Amazing Grace Child Care. It's my daycare. If you can see it in the camera. I made that. I did a video on how I did my smock. So if you're interested in that, check that out. I'm going to pull these out. I'm going to be careful because it's my first time doing it. So I might fast forward through this because I don't want to... um be long i just want to make sure i don't miss any i don't want to pull up any of these um i want to say rhinestones but it's not <laughs> but it's, it's doing pretty good doing pretty good so i'm gonna go ahead and stay on i guess i want you to cut some of that off check out my group um yes i have a lot of people that's trying to get into that group my brown girls craft with cricket Facebook group. You know, I have a, about a thousand people waiting to get in. I'm so sorry. I'm trying to get y'all in as quick as possible. So, um, you've been waiting for a long time. I do apologize. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Um, I've been wanting to do this video for a long time. I think I even bought some. I didn't, I didn't check my stash, but I just seen it on the shelf today at Walmart. So let me go ahead and get this and go ahead and do it, okay? I wasted a lot, though. I should have. Well, not that bad. I didn't waste that much, but. So I'm going to go ahead and buy it today and, and do it today so I can just get it off. Um, mark this off my little to-do list of videos. <laughs> okay. Let's see how this look in the front. See? That black is almost, the word black is almost done. So no, you can't really see the camera. The black is almost done. It's got to get inside of it a little bit. And I got to do the queen. A whole lot of the queen got to come out. So let me just take my time and do this real quick. So it's just, remember, it's the inside of the words. It's coming out. I'm so mad. I couldn't find my little cricket poker thingy. You know what? Let's see if I can use my fingernail. Yes, the fingernail works better. Let's see. And if you don't like if you don't like doing crafting, um, check my um, you check out my Etsy page, and I can um create the whatever you want. I basically personalize whatever you want: t-shirts, rugs, mugs, tumblers, everything. <laughs> Name it, I design it for you. I can um. Oh my goodness, did I mess it up? Okay, y'all, I'm scared, but I had to, turn, I had to go ahead and um, thought I tore something. But what I do is to make sure I didn't tear anything, I basically put my um design back on my screen, on my Cricut design screen to see, to make sure I do everything right. I say this is my first time doing it, and I do not want to mess it up on camera, y'all. 
So you'll just keep your own um, image on your screen so you can see what needs to be weeded out and what needs to stay. I thought I lost a, something on here, but I did. I didn't. This is how it's supposed to be. And it's really not hard to do. I was scared. I thought the little rhinestones was going to be a little smaller than this, and I thought it was going to be hard to do, but you still ain't get to the part where you got to peel off the other backing, topping, when you put it on top of the heat press. So, still got some more peeling to do when you're going to heat press. So, let's see how that works out when we get to that point. I appreciate you all watching my videos and subscribing and, um... Answering questions, asking me questions. I know sometimes I don't get back really quickly, but I have a lot of on my plate, y'all. Running my two, I have a daycare center. I also um have a ten year old son, and I also do a lot of pop ups and stuff around my in my community. And I'm just a busy woman, so just forgive me if I don't respond to you as quick as I can. I need a secretary. <laughs> I need someone to help me, but. Uh oh, let's see how this is going to be. This is cute. I have to fix this. I pulled a piece that wasn't supposed to be pulled up. So let me check and see what I did wrong here. And I'll be back. Okay, as you can see, I did pull up something that this was not supposed to be put up. But I like this because it has a lining on here. And you could put it, it's like a puzzle. You could put it right back. <laughs> if you pull something up, you could put it right back where it's supposed to go. So I'm glad I um I like this. The other vinyl, it would be like you gotta do it all over again, do mad, mad surgery on it. But this is not that bad because it's a line again, and it's like a piece of puzzle. I gotta make sure it's straight. And if I if I was a little bit off, you really wouldn't be able to tell because it's just the inside of the cube. But it's gonna work out, y'all. So I'm glad I didn't do too much harm. Okay, I like this so far. <laughs> Just making sure it's straight, y'all. And like I said, I didn't have to, I wanted to bring you back to bring you back on here just to show you. So I think that's it on that. And now it looks like it's supposed to look. Let me just look at it real quick. Yep, it's perfect. Okay, let me just oh okay, I got this little piece in here to get out. This is cute, cute. Okay, let's see. That's my pretty thing. This is out of here. It's hard for you to see now, but I will let you see it after I put it on. The shirt let me meet you over to the heat press y'all here's the shirt that i'm gonna be using it's kind of hard to see it right now because it's already on the um it's on my heat press yeah i'm being kind of ghetto i got my heat press right here but i'm going to be using my easy press because i do not like changing my um temperature on my heat press i use this for sublimation and that's what i want to keep my temperature on so when i'm doing something else that's not a big major um project i just go ahead and use my um easy press okay i have all three easy presses so whatever size I need, I, I'm going to use the one I'm using today. It's the big one, the biggest one. I don't know what size it is, but it's the biggest one they have. <laughs> I'm going to use that one today. And this shirt I'm using is it's a called a, um, Avia. I got this from a local store. It's in size medium. And it, it has like this really pretty black and white lining on, on each side. I like it. It's really cute, different. I have a white, I have a gray one like this too. Um, so I'm going to use the black today for the um, black queen. First, I'm going to go ahead and get the lint roller and Get all this lint off of this shirt first. Okay. It's been sitting a while. I didn't have this shirt since last year in a container and I didn't do anything to it. I got a lot of stuff that I just keep on my little container and when I'm ready to use it, I'm ready to use it. So now the weather is getting kind of chilly out here now. So I'm going to start doing sweatshirts tutorials. I do have a sublimation shirt that I did already. Check that out on my channel. A hoodie that I've did that I've done also. Okay, check those videos out. I have a Christmas shirt that I did for my son last year with um transfer vinyl. Check that out. It's pretty cool. Okay, so that's all done. So now my um the, the um easy press it says for cricket you have to basically use um the temperature three thirty. Um, for 30 seconds and I'm heating it up right now. I'm gonna go ahead and get the moisture out of the shirt real quick. You see my other heat press over there too. I have the heat press that I'm sitting this on right now was a 16 by 24. And this um easy press is like I don't know, like I said, it's the biggest one. You can see how big that is. 
we're gonna get the moisture out the shirt real quick. I do have my heat on uh, my easy. Let me show you in a minute. Hold on. I do have my Cricut Easy Press mat under it. Okay. Just to, um, just we just we, they prefer you use that with you when using the Easy Press. I'm gonna raise this up some because I always put go three inches below the collar. Okay. Okay, that means it's ready, y'all. That beeping means it's ready. Let me straighten this up. Make sure it's straight. What is this? this is tape. This is tape on here. Let me get this off so it won't mess up anything. Okay. Let me get my tape measure. Make sure I'm going down three inches from here. So that's right here. Now I'm taking my time, y'all, because I want to make sure this shirt is correct way. That's going right there. Some people fold, crease their shirts and like go like this and, and put a line through here so you can know the middle. But I don't. I just basically find the the, the letter that's coming far away, farther away from the edge, and I just measure from there. So I'm come get from this white line right here to the letter. To the, okay, that's like a five right here. Do the same thing for the outer over here. And that's a five too, y'all. Um, oh, we on point, on point. Let's bring it over just a little bit. I'm going to use my protective paper, my butcher paper. We're going to call it a day. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and put this on here. Make sure it's covering the whole image. And it says um, hard pressure. I'm going to go ahead and do it for, like I said, 300. I mean, 330. For 30 seconds. I'll be right back. Okay. 30 seconds is up. I'm going to tell you because I have to let this cool first. Before you um peel it off. I'm going to let it cool for a little while. That is very hot. If you use any of, I will put everything that I use in the description bar below. And if you use my Amazon links, I will get a certain percentage from whatever you purchase on my Amazon link. And I do appreciate that. All the money goes to me buying different things to create on my YouTube channel. Okay. Check out those links below. I would not be leaving the link for this shirt, this sweatshirt below, because like I said, I bought it from a, um, a store near in my local area and they don't have any more. This was last year, but you can also, you can buy any kind of shirt to go with this. You can use cotton, you can use whatever you want with this, with this um, vinyl, this heat transfer vinyl. So let's go ahead and peel this off. Ooh. Ooh, that's it. Let's put y'all up some. So you can see. Look at that, y'all. Now I thought it was going. Mm, you know, okay. So it's, I'm just about to say I thought it was gonna feel like it was um rhinestones, but it's still another protective paper on on top of it, so it might feel like it after I take the other one off. Okay. Uh oh, that's coming up. Yeah. Kind of popping a little bit, y'all. But they didn't. They're still on there. Just popping with their... It's on there. Just taking my time. Just pulling it down. Uh-oh. I'll be okay if I get my arm out the way. Why I didn't say nothing? <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's kind of tough in the middle. Oh, you know why? Because the protect some of this protective paper is coming up already. The second sheet is coming up off of the B. So that's why it's tough. Yeah, it's coming up already. Okay, which is fine. But I still have a whole lot more to take off. I'm gonna go ahead and First of all, at first it didn't look centered, but it is centered with the shirt. But it didn't look like that at first. 
because of this how this black is up there okay let me go ahead and um that's another protective paper on here that i gotta take off i'm gonna start pulling this now find a little piece and there we go there we go okay Boop, there it is so some people say they forgot i was looking at some youtube channels and it's like oh my goodness i forgot about this other protective paper that's on there so just make sure you there's two of them on there so you gotta do make sure you get both of them off okay they're all standing on so far none came up yet y'all looking pretty good Okay, trying to do this without my hand in the way. Just pulling it off like it's, it feels like, it feel like like scotch tape. <laughs> if you untaping something, that's what it feels like. And it's just popping a little bit, but they're all staying on there, so that's all that matters. I think I missed a piece right here. Let me lift it up and peel right here. And you can tell, too, if you missed a piece, you can tell. Because it's in between the circles. Okay, there we go. It's not too bad, y'all. If this is going to be worse than this, I thought it was going to be hard to do, y'all. I was scared. You know, I, sometimes I do be getting scared sometimes when I'm doing stuff like this. Just so it all came off. Let me see. I don't know what did there. You can tell if it's on there or not. You can't really see it. But you can tell by feeling it. You can't feel the t-shirt pattern that means you still have plastic on here and it's a whole lot i remember where you took it off at where you left off at uh -oh. Oh, okay that's coming off so i gotta heat this over again because see sometimes with them with them easy presses sometimes they do not get the edges real good so you gotta really make sure the edges is on here so let me get some so let me cut this and do this over a little bit like right here this part right here didn't catch the easy press too good if you can tell all oh, this is off you can tell this is a little plastic on here let's see where i want to start it remind myself to get my hand out the way so y'all can see what i'm doing here like i said i don't want to fast forward to see how easy or how hard it is to get this off so I'm letting you see the whole thing. Like I said, just feel like scotch tape. Okay, that came off. So I'm gonna keep this on here and press this over again. Because I can see, like I said, the edges is popping off. Okay. Let's make sure that I get all this off, you guys. Oh, nope, I see something right here. See, it's kind of tricky. If y'all want to see this, I'm going to stuff. Y'all go ahead and press fast forward. But I want to make sure it's all off. Oh, oh, let's see. See that right here. You probably in the video like, Charmaine, right there. Get off the B. <laughs> Did y'all remember what came? Okay, right here. I'm sorry, my, my, my hand is away, but I have to have it like that. Okay. The A is still on here, too. Take your fingernail. I took my, my acrylic nails off so I can be able to craft much better my real nails. Okay. Put on the side. Just to get it to stick a little bit more. Because like I said, how it must have fell off the um off the pad. You know how the, it bends over on top of the pad, like right here. I'm going to get the whole thing over there, so let it cool off a little bit. Oh, that's hot, 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 hot. Ooh, yeah, let me let it cool for a little bit. But I like it, y'all. I like it. Okay, let's go ahead and peel this off. And now it's not lifting. 
Just need a little bit more heat on there just to let it stick a little bit because of the edges. And look at that. Oh my goodness, it's cute, y'all. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and um, heat on the back real quick. That's my easy press mat. It's been through it. Been through war, y'all. <laughs> Go ahead and do this full time on this back side. Make sure I get the whole thing in here this time. 30 seconds. I appreciate all the business and all the supports that y'all have given me so far. I've only been doing this for a year since last January, so a little bit over a year. And I'm loving it. I'm loving it. And let's see the end results, y'all. Look at that. It's cute. Black Queen. Let me show y'all that a little closer. I'm going to put on the mannequin so you can see it really cute. Okay. So stay tuned for the picture. Okay, here's the last shirt that I made. This was whew, a pain because um, it just was. <laughs> um, we not these little pieces. It was a pain doing this one. So that one was much easier. But yes, I will do it again. I love the way it looks. Um, only thing I don't like about um this uh iron one is that you have to get that second um clear coating off of it, and it's kind of hard to find. And you got to fill over it. If you can feel it, you can tell when it's on there. But it was just a pain to get it off. But I love it. I love it, y'all. I had fun doing both of these shirts. First time doing it. I will do it again. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Hit that red bell so you can be notified when I do new vid more videos. If you like the content of this video, please like this video. Give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Until next time, be blessed.